Alright guys, welcome back, and today I'm reacting to Hawkeye Episode 3, Echoes. So, speaking of Echoes, last episode left off with, um, the reveal that Echo was, um, kind of the boss of the tracksuit mafia, but, um, it's been speculated that Kingpin could possibly show up in the series from Daredevil, which would be really cool, and... So like, there might there's I mean there's probably many layers to the to uh, this criminal group like the tracksuit mafia are the lowest and then like above them is Echo and then above them is maybe Kingpin or something which would be cool. Yeah, we're already halfway through the series so far because the first two episodes dropped on the same day last week. Um, and they were both, I mean, it was a good, th I, th I think it was um, nice that they um, released those two together because it, there was a lot of setup in those two episodes and it started to pick up in episode two, so I feel like things are really going to start to go down in this episode, so let's check it out. Two thousand seven. It's the year I was born. Oh, is this Echo? Yeah, because she's deaf. And Kingpin kills her father in the comics, so... Dragons definitely exist. <laughs> Shang-Chi showed us that. Was that Kingpin? <laughs> it, it, it looked like a large man right there. Ronan. This I love the sound design. It's it's really cool. Oh no. No. So her dad was part of the tracksuit mafia, and Ronan or Clint killed him. Cause um, I guess they retconned that from the comics. Because in the comics, Kingpin killed him, but in the MCU, it was Clint. I mean, look on the bright side. You don't have to go see Imagine Dragons. I love Imagine Dragons. <laughs> Oh yeah, so she's after Ronan because Ronan killed her father. Because he's dead. So who got him then? Oh. Uh. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh no! Ooh. <laughs> oh 
<laughs> Why do they have a ball pit? <laughs> oh, it's so cool. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Okay, this is. All right, we saw this scene in uh, the Disney Plus Day teaser. <laughs> I love, I love the the one cut like handheld. It is like spinning around the car. Trust a bro. It's so it's really cool the way they shot it. <laughs> no, not the trees. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Oh. Oh. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> wow, an Ant-Man arrow, the Pym arrow, man that was really awesome, we got to see a ton of different arrows, that was awesome. The sound design with like the hearing and stuff is really cool. Cause now that his hearing aid's gone, it's like it's similar to Echo, like everything's like not clear. Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh. You know I'm gonna be there, like I said, right? Um, I am so happy to hear your voice. Daddy's gotta go, okay? Love you. Love you more. Go away. Hold on, hold on, okay, was he talking about an uncle there?
you do realize how dangerous this is if you keep going after Ronan. You're supposed to be keeping a low profile. I just hope your uncle won't find out. He wouldn't be happy. So I'm wondering if they're sticking to the comics. If they're sticking to the comics where Kingpin like had a hand in raising her, he could be looked at like an uncle to her if they are following the roots of the comics with him raising her and stuff. And if there is a higher level to this organization, which I'm sure there is, um, Kingpin can easily be um, behind everything. I've been thinking about your brain issue. You need a more recognizable costume. <laughs> oh no. Is it going to be like the I comics? Realize, uh, my job for the last 20 years was to be not recognizable, right? Well, you officially failed at that. Picture this. <laughs> my job is to be, number one, a ghost. And two, my wife would divorce me if I had something like this on. <laughs> and it's pretty clear they're not just going to drop this. Well, that uh, you are not wrong about. To mention the fact that my mom might be marrying a murderer. <laughs> as far as I'm concerned, we're in this together. I need you to get that, but mom cancel my credit card. <laughs> Little Caesar. Dogfather. Sir Dog of Pizza. Pizza Dog. <laughs> Pizza dog. He hasn't officially, he hasn't got the name Lucky yet officially. Uh. Kingpin! Kingpin, let's go! The Jack thing is weird. I get it. It's not exactly airtight. Right. Which is why we need more evidence. And why we're gonna sneak into my mom's penthouse. Oh. Wait, 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 wait. We could get into her company's files. Bishop Security has a huge criminal database. There's got to be info on the tracksuits and Jack in there. Yeah. <laughs> What's the taxi driver thinking? Like, what is wrong with these people? I tried to swing from that very chandelier and broke my arm. So, uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, I'm in the wrong business. How'd you say her mom was killed? You didn't even mention all the swords. Jack? Wait, was it Jack? I couldn't really tell. Cause Jack, it has to be him, cause he has the Ronin sword. Oh yeah, it's him. <laughs> it's him for sure. Yeah, because at the auction, he, he pocketed the Ronin sword, so. Oh man, okay. Okay, so there were a lot of hints to Kingpin in that in that episode. First we have like there was definitely a large man grabbing Maya's Echo's cheek at the beginning there, which could definitely be Kingpin. And then also just the talk about uh, Maya's uncle and um Clint and Kate talking about like there's there's someone above Echo and the tracksuits. Just there's a lot pointing to Kingpin, and even if he doesn't show up in this series, it's very very likely that he could show up in the Echo series coming. I I doubt this would happen, but there's been rumors of like Charlie Cox's Daredevil like making a cameo, Matt Murdock making a cameo, and Spider-Man No Way Home possibly. And if Kingpin could have a cameo there, I mean, I don't think that's likely just because of all the other stuff going on in that movie with, like, the all the villains and possibly the other Spider-Men coming in and even possibly a Matt Murdock. I mean, it, there, there's a lot. So, I mean, I don't, I don't think Kingpin could make a cameo, but you never know. In that last shot, Jack is definitely up to something. I mean, um, in the comics, Jack becomes the swordsman. It's kind of an anti-hero, 
So, I mean, there's a lot pointing to Jack being involved in this some way. I mean, and there's a, there is evidence to his obsession with swords and um, Armand being killed by a sword and him offering Kate the butterscotch that was at Armand's place. I mean, this series is just heavily focused on Ronan and um, how, like, because these first three episodes, I mean, they've all focused greatly on Ronan from, in episode one, we had the auction with the suit and the sword where Jack pocketed the sword, Kate got hold of the suit, and then eventually Hawkeye got hold of the suit again in episode two. But now, Maya Lope my Lopez, Echo, is after Ronan for killing her father, so just this whole series is heavily focused on Ronan and the the sort of aftermath of Endgame. That chase scene was freaking awesome. I loved how they used all the different trick arrows. We had like the the slime one, the plunger, the this one with there was one there was like the explosive one and then which we've obviously seen before. There was the uh, there was like one that was like a smoke bomb sort of and then we had the one that was like it was like a it like used like Pimtech or something where it 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 like those like those discs in Ant Man like when he like in Civil War when uh, he throws the disc at that truck and it makes it bigger. I mean that's what that was. I mean it made it made contact with the arrow and it just grew into the giant arrow, which that is awesome. Um, I'm assuming Ant Man helped him with that. Yeah, just the, I mean, the way they used all the different arrows and, like, the camera, it, the camera work in that scene was really, was really cool. Another thing I thought was done really well was, uh, the use of, like, the sound design and, like, how with, with Echo and Clint, whenever their hearing was, ever their hearing was, like, out, when Clint lost his hearing aid and obviously Echo's deaf, but, like, they would make the, like, everything would be, it wouldn't be clear, you couldn't quite make out what was happening, which was really cool, and it makes you feel for those characters. And all, and also just the way, like, they use, like, sign language and stuff was, like, to communicate was really interesting. When I, at the beginning, when I said that things would pick up, I mean, I was right. This is, this is a huge step up from the first episode, first two episodes, in my opinion, and especially with that reveal of Jack, I mean... And, like, Echo playing a bigger role in Hint of Kingpin, I mean... And, like, Yelena from Black Widow is still has to show up in this series in the latter half, so that that still has to happen, because at the end of Black Widow, Val gave her the target of Clint. He's like, you want to, uh... You want to know that the man responsible for your sister's death shows a picture of Clint, so... And she has been confirmed to come back in the series, so that still has to happen. But we're already halfway through the series, but I feel the second half is going to be great. So that's going to do it for my reaction to Hawkeye Episode 3, Echoes. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.